Scott with Level Up Tutorials, and today we're going to pick up where we left off, and we're going to show you how you can animate things in Angular so that not only when we have this enter and leave state like we had when we were uh, toggling whether these names are going to be shown or hidden, but we're gonna modify this so it's not when the names are shown or hidden because really uh, this isn't necessarily that much of a real world example. Maybe you're toggling something and you want it to fade in or anything like that. But I think maybe a more important or maybe a more frequently used way will be when you're adding content or something like that. Basically, just to let you know how flexible this animation stuff really is in Angular. So let's go ahead and make some small modifications to what we were doing. We had these SVG uh, Twitter icons, the logo here. I'm just gonna totally nuke those out of here and get rid of them because we really don't need them. And we had that in person.html, so I'm gonna come into here and just get rid of this ng include. There we go. Now we just have a span with the item, uh, the person name and age, just like so. Okay, now still hiding and showing does this animation. So then now that we have that cleared up, uh, we can come to our index.html and let's actually head to our styles here. I'm gonna have to put these in there, an actual style sheet at some point. It's just gonna get way too huge here. So one thing to notice is that we had this ng enter and ng leave, ng enter active, ng leave active. We had those classes in the last video. You saw that the classes applied when something is either shown or hidden. And at that point, the ng active the ng enter active class is applied and therefore the transition happens over the course of time that is specified in the transition. So we had our animations here. They're changing opacity from zero to uh, one. They're translating from negative 100 to zero. And this is on the UL. This is on the unordered list here. This, this. We had these transitions. We add them to this li. If we just change these ULs here to LIs, like so, now we come back to our page and refresh. Now you'll notice that when I refreshed, when all of them came in, they all slid to the left. Uh, they all slid from the left. Let's see what happens when we add a new name. We'll just add another Scott. Uh, there we go. And let's keep adding names. As you can see, they keep sliding in. Now, this is something that you might be used to seeing more, uh, this sort of animation when things are added. It's a video, visual indication that something is happening. Uh, maybe we even do something where instead of having it translate negative 100x, we can translate y now. And let's translate y. And we'll just have this be simply 10 pixels. And we'll translate it y, just like so. I can copy these whole lines and and uh, put them here. Okay, now when we come here, let's refresh. Let's add another name. There we go. And that's a nice little animation. Um, so you, you don't necessarily need to have it be outrageous or anything like that, but that is way more uh, interesting to look at than something that's just an abrupt change of the uh, name just popping in there. Yeah, so that's really nice. Now, in addition to animating just by simply having the ng enter and then the ng enter active classes, we can also animate using CSS animations. Let's get rid of everything except for just the ng enter. I'm just gonna comment these out. And now we just have the ng enter. And now let's go ahead and get rid of some of this stuff. I'm really just going to have animation. And now the animation will just be uh, we'll just be fade in and it's going to be over the course of 0 0.2 seconds and it's going to be linear. Okay, now let's go ahead and define that animation and we can define a CSS animation with the at sign and we can say keyframes and now we can just say fade in, so it's the name of our animation, and then we have some brackets. Now since we don't have multiple steps in this animation, we can just say from, inside of from, we can give it an opacity of zero, and we're gonna have this a two, and the two is going to have an opacity of, so from zero to one, just like so. Okay, now let's head back to our HTML, 
And as you can see, I'm actually running a, a later version of Chrome, so I don't need any of the CSS prefixes, but make sure you have your prefixes in here for whatever browsers you need to support for, or I would actually suggest using an auto prefixer if you have any sort of post-processing going on. Okay, so with that out of the way, you can see when we refresh, the names fade in. We add a new one, and it fades in like so. So as you can see, uh, we took this code that had the enter, leave, enter, leave active that gives us complete control of every single step and we've moved it down into something a little bit more succinct here. However, it doesn't give you the total control that the other one did. Obviously, you could have the same ng leave and then your keyframes would then be from one to zero instead of zero from one. Or you could do the same animation on ng leave and just have it be reversed uh, by the CSS animation property reverse. So now you can animate your objects entering and leaving using either animations or transitions. What other things can you animate in Angular? So the directives that allow you to animate with ng enter and leave are uh, ng repeat, ng view, ng include, ng switch, ng if, ng class, ng show and hide. So check it out, get animating. Remember, it's important that the animation is really an expression of what's happening. Uh, with the content rather than necessarily just going crazy animating everything. Uh, make sure your animations make sense within the context of what you're using them in. But go essentially go nuts experimenting animating with Angular. So as always, this is Scott with Level Up Tutorials. If you have any questions or comments, leave a comment in the video or hit us up at Twitter or Facebook at Level Up Tutorials. We love to hear from you. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.